Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the Lighting One, the Lighting One, aka God's Child, aka God's Child. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my page. Before I get started, told you I was gonna cop it. The new PS4, the PS4. It comes with a game. It calls with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah, whatever it is. Cop it, got it, get yours today. Shout out to Straight Up Reviews. Shout out to everyone out there from the East Coast and West Coast Views of Eight. Shout out to Ghana, New Jersey, New Mexico, Mexico, California, Los Angeles, Compton, New York, New Jersey, Kingston, New York, New York, Brooklyn, Chicago, Springfield, Wisconsin, Texas, District of Columbia, London, Moscow, everywhere. All right, so I had to stop and put this out there. On my previous video of D-Mac, Big Mac, the American Gangster, a subscriber made a very valuable, valuable point. A very valuable point. Okay, so we're going to go back, trace it back, back at the time. Happy Friday. My name is Elite One. Let's get started. And Kevin Gaines... We've talked about the city of lies. Kevin Gaines, a seven-year veteran officer, 31 years of age, was killed. He was part of the Rampart Division. Allegedly, Kevin Gaines was present and possible gun shooter of the notorious late Biggie Smalls. This is back in 97. But he was gunned down, murdered in a road raid incident, road raid incident by a undercover cop, I think it's Frank Liger, Luger, Liger, but it was an altercation, and I looked it up, and witness testified that Kevin Gaines rolled up on his man, okay, so now, if you haven't seen The City of Lies, you have to watch it, City of Lies, in my personal opinion, is not in theaters, it was pulled from theaters, because uh, Johnny Depp solicited a security detail, for drugs, and Johnny Depp did a hell of a job. If you didn't see City of Lies, watch City of Lies. Uh, it's not supposed to be out, but it's a very good movie. And if that movie would have got out, Johnny Depp would have been Oscar nominated or won an Oscar because he did a wonderful job. Forrest Whitaker would have been Best Supporting Actor as a reporter. And it's a movie about a detective who was outcast by the LP, LAPD, and it was a reporter by a reporter, a news reporter, who wanted to know the truth, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker, hell of an actor. He played Gandhi. He played all type of series or whatever, and Johnny Depp need no introductions nowhere. So in this movie, two of these guys become good friends. They didn't get it off, hit it off in the beginning, but they became good friends. So now... That being said, oh, I can't wait to get home to play that. Uh, mm. So, guys, I'm going to tell you uh, real quick. When you're doing your Christmas shopping or when you shop for yourself, things like this, don't take this box into your house or your apartment because possibly you can get robbed. Always put your stuff in a black, dark garbage bag. That way your neighbor won't see what you got. All right. So, Kevin Gaines in the movie, a subscriber point this out. He said he lighting one. In the movie, the officer, Frank Luger, Liger, L-Y-G-A, they pulled a handgun from under the Kevin Gaines' seat. Dun, dun, dun. So I had to read it again. He lighting one. The officer who shot in self-defense said that, I mean, it shows in the movie that the officers found the gun up under Kevin Gaines' car seat. Dun, dun, dun. I said, damn, 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 damn. Soon as I get out, they draw me back in. <sighs> if this is true, if this is true, how? I, 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 you know what? I'm just, you know what? I'm not even going to put the guy's name out there. How on earth? If it's justified, if the man's, if, okay, how was it self-defense and the man had a pistol up under the seat? So, that's something to think about, guys. Now, 
in the movie City of Lies. I ain't gonna tell you, you gotta go see it. But anyway, so if Kevin Gaines was a legend shooter, but it was believed Muhammad was the shooter. Okay. Big Gene Deal, not to bring him up here. Big Gene Deal says that the Muhammad guy, bow tie, peanut head, walked up on him and he showed his weapon. Like, what's up? Because see, Gene Deal, in his profession, his motto is, I'd rather be carried by 12, I'd rather be judged by 12 and carry by, than carried by 6. And that's a good philosophy to live by. So, Kevin Gaines was part of the Rampart Division. Rafael Perez and D Mac. Same division. So let's go back to my previous video, the Rampart. Rampart was a division of corrupt, corrupt, crooked cops whose job was to save taxpayers' dollars and city money. And plus, they planted drugs and he sold drugs and crushed. So Suge Knight hired these three men. Kevin Gaines was banging Suge Knight's wife. So I'm going to throw this out here. Now, Suge Knight did his own dirt. Suge Knight was an instigator. He banged Misha Lay. He banged Big James Girl. So Suge Knight did a lot of dirt. Who's to say? Gaines wouldn't had a target on his back. Because I'm going to tell you something. You can't be banging somebody's wife. A big mongrel like Suge Knight. Even though, even though he tired of his wife or whatever, but you banging his wife? And you shaking a man's hand? Because, you know, at Death Row Records, his wife had one side. She had Snoop, fuck Snoop, uh, excuse me, Snoop, the dog powder, all that, me or whatever. And then Suge had Pac. That's all Suge needed was Pac. So you had Crips and Bloods together. Bloods and Crips. Crips and Bloods. Bloods again. See, why can't Crips and Bloods get together now? Somebody comment below, are the Crips and Bloods still peace? I hope so, because we need peace, more peace. We don't need all this beef, you know, because cause if we die, we all going to bleed. We all going to bleed green. So anyway, like I said, uh, so Kevin Gaines was messing around. Now, who's to say it wasn't a plot hit? They said witness says that Kevin Gaines pull up on the side of Frank, Officer Frank Luger, who's undercover. He was a white guy. He looked like a hillbilly. And you got to understand some guys, you don't know who's a CIA, FBI, or police. They got chicks out here hot as hell and they cops. I had seen uniformed women, patrol women, hot as, and they cops. Like, wow. They hot as, you know what I'm saying? So you have to understand some guys, if this is true, if the handgun was up under the car seat, how on earth was it self-defense? Subscribe today. Like this video. Hit the like button, hit the bell button. I'm the enlightened one, a.k.a. God's child. Peace.